what's really bad is if it gets caught on the back one. Hey guys, this is Lee here. And in this short video, I'm gonna show you if you use sale ties, how to prevent you from messing up your sale and costing you hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I'd like to thank all the subscribers who are helping the channel grow. If you like what you see, please don't forget to smash that like button. And now to the video. Hey guys, so once you're using sale ties, there's a couple of things you have to really watch out for. And you wanna watch out for they don't get caught under these eye straps on the boom box with the rivets. So if it gets caught there and it's under load, you won't be able to adjust your foot. And what's really bad is if it gets caught on the back boom block that if you start pulling in your out hole really tight this is what's going to happen then you're going to get this flat area here everything else is going to look normal until you get to that fourth one and it's going to stretch it now if you pull on it too hard because you want the, the foot to be tighter you can rip this so you have to, when this occurs when you loosen the out hole when you're going downwind and that loosens up see how that loosens up and then sometimes when you're going downwind it'll get underneath here so to prevent this from occurring i'm going to put a few wraps of electrical tape around the aft part of these rivets and that'll prevent this from happening So to prevent this from happening, I'm gonna put a couple of wraps of electric, a few wraps of electrical tape around the aft rivet. So that'll prevent the sail tie from getting around that rivet and stuck. So you could adjust your out hole as needed. So I hope you got some good value from this video. Go ahead and smash that like button and hit that notification bell so you know when I come out with a new video. Thanks and I'll see you on the water.